no sense of direction. Next weekend, I asked Granny if she had any photos of her tunnel. Somebody burnt them, she said. I think he was jealous. Granny says you're jealous, I told Grandad when we were digging in the garden. Jealous of what? Grandad blew out his moustache and made it look bigger. Jealous of her for digging the tunnel under Cook Strait. Tch, what nonsense. She made quite a good job of her tunnel, only she couldn't get the two ends to meet. So she made up that story about me making a hole in the roof. Why wouldn't the ends meet? Because your grandmother's got no sense of direction. What's a sense of direction? You know, which way's north? I pointed. Not bad. Bit more this way. Bit more. Bit more. Yep, that's it. Now which way's south? Right. You've got a pretty good sense of direction. It comes from my side of the family. I felt good when Grandad said that. Your grandmother now, she has no idea of where north is, let alone south. That's why she couldn't get the two ends of her tunnel to meet in the middle. We were inside later when I asked Granny, Which way's north? She pointed with her chin over her shoulder. I looked at Grandad, but had to look away again because he was grinning behind his newspaper. Oh, well, it's somewhere in that direction. Granny wasn't worried. That afternoon, Grandad said, Now, do you believe your granny has no sense of direction? Mm, I suppose so. She can get herself lost just going to the dairy. Luckily, everyone in the neighbourhood knows she has no sense of direction, and they turn her around and point her in the right way, or she'll never get home again. I once followed her directions, driving from Whangarei, and we finished up in Hamilton. Ask her to go west, she goes east. She can get herself lost between the clothesline and the back door. You can't get lost in your own backyard. It's as true as I'm standing here. I was away from home once, and your grandmother hung out the washing and couldn't find her way back to the house. When I came home, she'd been living in the back shed for a couple of weeks. What did she eat? Veggies out of the garden. She drank water out of the hose. We had an old outside dunny then, so she was okay. She just didn't know which direction the house was. I looked at him. Granny's not silly. I never said she was, just that she's got no sense of direction. That afternoon, I asked, Granny, have you got no sense of direction? You've been listening to your grandfather again. Of course I've got a sense of direction, and a very good one. Not like your grandfather. He once got himself lost walking around the block. Luckily, the postie found him and led him home by the hand while all the neighbours pointed and laughed. It can get quite embarrassing. Do you know, I once asked him to drive me to Hamilton, and he drove me to Whangarei. How does he get on when you're not here? He has trouble. Granny bobbed her head. Came home once, found him lying in the hen house with the chooks. Luckily, there's a tap in their run, but he'd eaten all of the eggs and was thinking of eating the chooks themselves and all because he couldn't find his way back to the house. Just as well you got back in time, Granny. Just as well indeed. I said to him, if you'd eaten all the chooks, that would have been an end to the eggs, and then what would you eat? Do you know what he told me? What? He said he was going to catch the hedgehog that lives in the garden, the one called Jack. He was going to eat it. But my name's Jack. Granny didn't hear me. I wonder if you'd run these next door to Mrs. Black's. She handed me a bowl of eggs, pointed her chin over her shoulder. But instead of pointing at Mrs. Black's place, it was pointing in the other direction, Mrs. Smith's. Mrs. Black's? That's what I said, didn't I? Be careful now, don't drop those eggs, or Mrs. Black will start eating hedgehogs too.